Alright. Alright, Dave. Let's do a little bit of a recap of what you showed me here. Okay. Alright, so first thing you told me was before hooking up to the trailer with the brakes set that you can go back and you can look at the brakes being seeing if it was out of adjustment. Correct. It's by beyond... checking that the angle. If it goes past a 90 degree angle of the brake chamber rod, it's out of adjustment, right? Correct. All right, so at that point there, I can quickly look and make sure that the brake drums and the brake liners have no cracks in it that'll physically, I'm not gonna hook up to the trailer because it's gonna, why? It's gonna, right, it's gonna have to be fixed. It's gonna have to be fixed, so why hook up to the trailer, right? Right, okay. Things such as uh, brake drums like that right there, where Ray Charles can see that there's a problem? Yeah, a little bit, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, you also told me to make the brake adjustment itself manually that the brakes have to be released. Right? Correct. Correct. And that the brake slack adjusters are designed to automatically adjust upon brake the application. Correct and they are to maintain one inch of travel, brake chamber rod travel. True. All right, so while I'm down here, I've already checked to make sure that the clevis pins were in place. So to make the adjustment, all I need is a left-handed metric crescent wrench, right? Correct, and a quarter. And a quarter or a screwdriver? Or right? a screwdriver. All right, I was just joking about the left-handed <laughs> metric crescent <laughs> wrench, okay? All right, so you told me that on the top is the adjusting gear that if I can go both ways with it that there's a problem with the paw. Correct, it's strict. Alright, so that would probably indicate why it was coming out of adjustment real quick. So if it doesn't go one way and it can go the other way then that way is tightening, right? Correct. Alright, so I know that that way is tightening it. Now that I can know which way is tightening I can put the quarter or screwdriver behind the button of that paw and just twist it to pull the paw away from the adjusting or the worm gear, right? Correct. Because that paw has little notches on it that rise up against that worm gear. All right, now, all I gotta do is go ahead and bring it into adjustment by tightening it tight. Duh, it's probably got to go a long ways. Once it's tight, then I tap the drum, correct? Correct should have a thud thud. That's indicated that the liners are in contact of the brake drum. Then all I have to do is come back a half a turn, right? Right. And then I tap the drum again, should listening for that bell sound. All right, that's indicated that the liners are no longer in contact with the drum. And then you take, you said you take a, and pull on it? Pull on it. And if I can see that I have about an inch, no yeah. less than an inch no because less. that brake liner is going, that brake end is going to grab before the rest. So if it's less than an inch, what do you do? Readjust it. Or just back, back it, it off, off a little, a little bit, bit more? Correct. Until I have my inch. It could be over a little bit of an inch because when I go inside the cab, I can do a manual adjustment or Correct. an in cab adjustment. By, press, by pushing on the brake pedal three times. Fully? Fully. Yeah. Pushing all those brake axle ends as far as they possibly can, all the brake chamber rods as far as they can. And they're designed when they come back to automatically adjust.